everybody. Happy Friday. Um, today we're going to look at um, making one of the NHS thank you rainbows. Um, lots of children all over the country are making rainbows and um, me and Amy have decided that we're going to do two different versions, um, two different examples so that you can have a go at both of them or one of them at home. Um, we'd love to see your pictures um, and, you know, give us any feedback on how you found these activities um, once, you know, once you've had a go. Mine is going to be using soft pastel, so I'm going to show you um, a really simple technique and how to create continuing a little bit with the colour mixing that we did the other day but using different kinds of pastels so these are quite like these are chalky pastels and um, this is the box um, I'll put a link to where you can get um, soft pastels they come in a big pack like this we're not going to use all of them though we're going to ma mainly use the primary colours again and um, to make our rainbow so to begin with you're going to sweep your I'm, I'm working landscape on this piece of paper you're going to sweep use the side of your um soft pastel and you're going to sweep it across your page like this so it creates quite a thick line like this you can go over a couple of times to make it quite strong you can see that okay you're then going to take a yellow because if you think about the rainbow colours, we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So we need an orange next. But rather than taking an orange out of the palette, um, or out of the pack, sorry, I'm going to use the side of this. And I'm going to do it about halfway, um, sort of halfway from the bottom of the red so that some of it will be bright yellow and some of it will be orange where it mixes. So try that. It goes across. Bit. I'm going to sweep them up so there you've got a really nice red, orange, yellow. I hope you can see this okay. I've had problems with my laptop, so I've had to go into a different old laptop today. Um, but hopefully, it looks okay. Um, okay, then I'm going to make so red, orange, yellow, green. So if you think about how we make green, so we use yellow and blue. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come in a little bit smaller here. I'm going to take, I'm going to go in half of the, um, half of the yellow with this. I'm going to press on quite hard. I'm just going to overlap it a couple of times. The blue will come out really strong. And you can't really see the green there. So what you might want to do if in that case is just take your finger and just smudge it where the yellow is, where it should have made green. It's just smudge it a little bit. And if you want, you know, you could add a little bit more yellow over the top. That'll just make it really green. Okay, so we've got red, orange, yellow, green, and we need blue. So I'll leave that blue bit and then indigo and violet. So indigo is one of those is one of the tertiary colours. So it's it's kind of like um blue and purple mixed together. So what I'll do is I'll overlap, we're going to make you know to make purple, we need red and blue. Um, so I'm going to overlap, I'm going to leave a gap here where the blue, I'm going to leave that blue bit there. I'm going to go over with a bit of this red to make a purple. I'm going to go over a few times like that, but then that's very, very pinky. So I'm going to go over it again with the blue to make an indigo. And then violet is kind of just... A, like a paler purple so I'm going to just add a little bit more blue to that and I'm just going to smudge it with my finger you kind of you want the indigo to be darker than the violet there we go we've got our rainbow like a v-shaped rainbow so that's one way of doing it with soft pastels it is very very smudgy it is a little bit messy but it does come off quite easily um just Maybe once you've done it, give it a bit of a blow, like that. Um, I thought these could be cut out and laminated. Um, you could put them in your window or they could be, um, yeah, you, you could do whatever you want with them. Um, you could make them bigger on bigger pieces of paper. Um, it's kind of a nice, just nice way of exploring colour mixing again. Um, so let me know how you get on. Hi everyone, 
Um, I'm going to share with you another way that we can make our rainbows. This time I'm going to be using acrylic paint. You can use whatever paint you've got at your house, um, but you'll need to pre-mix a couple of colours. So I've got him, got a red, a yellow, so you don't need to mix those two. Orange, so you need to mix your orange. Have a think about how you can make orange. Green, again, you'll need to mix green. Blue, you won't need to mix blue, that's a primary colour. And our indigo, so that's sort of a dark purpley blue. Okay, so you need your paint ready. Also need some paintbrushes. I've actually got one paintbrush per colour just to speed this up. Um, but you can wash your brush in between. You'll also need a ruler or something similar um, and some paper. That's all you need. So here we go. Take that down. Okay, so first colour. What's the first colour in our rainbow? It is a red. So I'm to give it a really nice big blob. Of red just at the bottom corner of your page big big blob and then we've got our orange so what two colors do we need to mix orange red and yellow make sure you've got more yellow than red a nice big blob of orange next color in our rainbow is yellow so again do these blobs really nice and close to each other after that it is a green so which two colors do you need to make green yellow and blue that's it yellow and blue oh there's a bit more paint so try get these um the amount of paint on each section Similar, and the gap's roughly the same. Okay, after that it is blue. A nice big blob of blue like that. Okay, and finally, indigo, which is quite a tricky colour. It was just red and blue. But this time, to make it a bit more indigo, I just put a little bit more blue than red in my colour to make it more blue. Again, big blob of that. Okay, so we've got our paints nice and thick in there. Now you're going to take your ruler, you might need a bit of space for this bit. And it's um, it seems to work better if you, you keep your ruler quite upright rather than tilting it on an angle. Keep it nice and straight to push the paint away. And ready, steady. So about halfway, start to bend. Get that nice rainbow shape. And up. And there we have it. A really nice, even gapped, painted rainbow. Super, super easy. So great. So yeah, I'd love to see how you guys do. Um, please upload your pictures and um, tag your school, tag us in it. Um, hashtag NHS Rainbow. Put these around your houses. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I'd love to see how you all do. Don't forget to share, share your pictures.